Okay guys and gals, I'm back again. This is show and tell number 10. I certainly hope I'm not boring you guys to death with all of my prints and I hope you enjoy them as I am enjoying showing them to you. You know, this is like watching somebody's summer slides or uh, baby pictures. But these are my babies. Okay, this, this shot of a guy, he's waiting for the bus and he's actually bored to death and sleeping. And I took the image and I actually ran kind of an HDR type effect on it. And I have printed it in color, but I decided to convert it to black and white as it sort of, I thought it would give me a little bit more impact. And um, I think you have to agree that maybe it did. All right, again, this is matte paper on the 3800 using German OCP inks. Okay, so now we're gonna go over and start looking at some Luster prints. Well, at least this one's luster. I love looking at old windows and taking pictures of them. This is one of them. I don't know if you can see that very well. Again, this is totally unrehearsed. I'm just going from print to print in my piles here. Some of them are, are not as good as the others. Ah. Here we go. This is yet another beautiful scene in Gettysburg. One particular winter was just glorious. It had just snowed, not a lot, not enough to bury the existing brown and yellow uh, bits of grass and, and just foliage. And the snow was poking through. The sky was wonderful. And this is the kind of shots that you could take under those conditions. And of course, just print them on good matte paper. The colors are good. Contrast is wonderful. I'm happy with that combination. There's a flock of birds. I just noticed that. Oh my goodness. There's a little flock of birds right here. Hmm. Flying on cue. I love it. What do we have here? Ah. This old barn. It's right around the corner from the Peace Memorial. And this is one of the shots that I always take whenever I'm there. I like to do it different times of the year to get a different type of flavor or effect or feeling. And this was that one weekend that the rest of those other shots were taken in. And uh, you can see that partially melted snow. You can see the, the nice contrast of the background, the snow against some of the foliage. And uh, I think I'm liking this one. Now that I'm looking at it one more time, I haven't seen this for a while. Hmm. Okay, what do we have here? This feels like Aurora White. This was done December 20th, 2012. As you can probably tell, I love landscapes. I'm not much of a people photographer, although I do weddings, as I showed you with that one of that little girl in the previous video, the little flower girl. Oh, this is nice. Now, in the springtime, you know, there are a lot of farms. Um, Gettysburg was a farming community, and it still is. And I managed to catch the cows out. As you can see way back here in the background. Hope you can see that clearly. And what do we have here? This is looking from, yeah, this is looking from Little Round Top down to the valley below. Now this was a bloody mess during the second day of the battle. It was horrible. This is one of the original buildings, uh, original uh, Civil War era buildings in Gettysburg. This is just a roof of one of the buildings. I like to do this a lot. I like the, the angles and the graphic type um, effect that this gives. And so I'm usually looking, you know, for things like this to take pictures of. And then, of course, the goal is to how to, how to reproduce these on print. 
because that's always my final goal, the print. I usually do not do any kind of uh, social media sharing photographs. What does that give you? A reduced gamut, compressed image of what used to be a full gamut, you know, raw. No, I don't like to do that. I like to present someone with a print, or at least in this medium that we're doing now, it's not so horrible because you're able to see me holding the print itself. So it's not like if I just did a uh, JPEG and posted it and created a video of them. That's not the same thing. I want you all to see me holding these prints so that you know that it is an object. There I go getting all philosophy like. But that's really what I think. This is the type of stuff that I always look for to photograph. The statue of an angel. And I don't remember whether this was an old church in Gettysburg or not. When I usually go up there with my wife, we just kind of escape the city. We'll spend the night and I'll take thousands of photographs. Here's a variation of the one you saw earlier. Sometimes I don't know when I print something twice. And let's see what we have here. Ah. This is the Fireman Memorial. It's uh, actually from a New York unit that took place in the battle. They were there in the battle, actually. And you uh, may have seen a sunset that I did showing this in the background as well. But again, this is really nicely reproduced on matte paper. And I try to make the sky. The sky is probably five points under what the plain paper background would have been. Okay, so that's that gives it a separation that you can visually actually detect from the background. A little bit higher, and this would have just been pure white and not good at all. What do we have here? Oh my. <laughs> this is pretty funny. A macro shot of a leaf. Okay. That probably does not belong here. And this one, I think you've seen this one in a previous video. Again, these are all done, the same image done on different papers, just so I can get an idea what would be the better choice. And that's really what, you know, you all should be doing as well. And that's how you find out what works and what doesn't work. Here's my wife and my son just exploring the creek just south of Gettysburg, south and west of Gettysburg. We'll do one, one or two more to see what else we have here. Yeah. Again, this is another scene from above looking down into the valley on uh, Little Round Top. It's such a vast valley that what I like to do is use a medium telephoto and just scan the area for little vignettes like this. And then I'll make those shots usually vertical. Uh, this is nothing special. This is a shot of reenactors there all the time and somebody set up a tent with furniture kind of trying to show what it was like in an encampment. There's a couple more and then we will stop. I promise. Vertical shot of a clump of trees. The nice grass in the foreground. That area is so peaceful, you just want to hang around there and just lay down and just meditate. Here's a shot in uh, Marsh Creek. What's with all this uh, botanical stuff? <laughs> Another birch tree and some 
beautiful leaves I saw laying on some rocks. That's kind of interesting for texture wise. I don't know about having any merit as an image, but when I was coming up, I was 11 and I was learning photography and teaching myself mostly. I used to take pictures of tree stumps, trash cans, you know, uh, light poles, anything. And I wanted to get it as technically perfect as I could. A beautiful, technically perfect shot of a trash can. Here's a bunch of cherry tomatoes done on uh, matte paper. Is that bright enough for you? Contrast enough for you? Saturation enough for you? Yes, matte paper can produce this type of effect. You just need to have the right profile, right printer, the right inks. Okay, enough of that. We did a lot of prints. I really didn't plan to do that many, so I apologize if I kept you all too long. So I will cut it short now and I'll do another video shortly showing you some more prints. We're almost done. I think we got about another three or four videos to go here. Ah, oh, beautiful shots there. Wow. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> All right, so until the next time, please subscribe, please share, please like it if you like it, and until the next time, bye-bye.